asteroid horror as NASA spots another space rock. This time it's a half the size of Ben Nevis Mountain and it's a danger to our Earth. Now, what is Ben Nevis? Well, maybe uh, those who hear of it think it's a Caribbean island. Well, it's not. It's in Scotland and it's the highest mountain in the British Isles. It stands at 4,411 feet above sea level and it's on the west end of Grampian Mountains in Loch Abere in the area of the Scottish Highlands. Okay, so there you go. That's Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the British Isles. And what they spotted was an Apollo-class asteroid. The Apollo asteroids are near-Earth near asteroids. They're named after the 1862 Apollo discovered by German astronomer Carl Rainmuth. The Earth-crossing asteroids are these Apollo asteroids. They cross our Earth and they have an orbital semi-major axis greater than that of the Earth but perihelion distance less than the Earth aphelion. As of December 2018, the number of known Apollo asteroids is about 10,500. And they're finding new ones all the time, as we can see, making the class the largest group of near-Earth objects that is compared to the Aten asteroids, the Amur asteroids, the Atira asteroids, of which 1,409 are numbered. Asteroids are not numbered until they've been observed at two or more positions. And 1,648 are identified as potentially hazardous asteroids. The closer their semi-major axis is to Earth, the less eccentricity is needed for the orbits to cross. In February 15, 2013, the Chelyabinsk meteor that exploded over the city of Chelyabinsk in the Urals region of Russia, injuring over a thousand people and damaging over seven thousand buildings with uh, you know windows blown out, was an Apollo-class asteroid, by the way. So this is a type of asteroid that they've spotted again. This is on Express UK by Brian McLeanan. And uh, it's, again, they're finding new asteroids all the time. NASA is keeping their watchful eye, tracking asteroids. On the mid-November close approach of the huge space rock that is about half the size of the mountain Ben Nevis, and it's hurling towards us at 18,000 miles per hour. The asteroid's name is 481394 2006 SF6. Let's call it SF6 for short. And is set for its closest approach to Earth November 21st. The 650 meter, that's about 1,800 feet across, celestial huge chunk of uh, asteroid classified the Apollo as an Apollo asteroid. It's the most dangerous class of asteroids as we see, having an Earth-crossing orbit. There is also the chance that it could be nudged closer to Earth by the Yarkovsky effect. Well, we know what happened in July 25th. On July 25th, we had a, an asteroid about 40 feet across that was supposed to be safely passing us way beyond our moon, and uh, its trajectory was to be leading it into the wild black yonder of space, and that didn't happen. It careened and uh, headed uh, 90 degrees right into us, and it slammed into the Caribbean Ocean. And the astronauts came out saying, why did that happen? Well, it happened because, we guessed, because of the Yarkovsky effect. The Yarkovsky effect is where the soft force of sunlight, when the sunlight hits, the asteroid, it warms up the part of the uh, area that it radiates and that causes a temperature differential causing the asteroid to tumble on its axis. So the force of the sunlight can steer the asteroid as if something has pounded it into earth crossing orbit in this case or in the other cases, in the Yarkovsky effect cases and drastically alter the layout of their paths. The trajectories change, of course, 
uh, across our solar system. Asteroids larger than about 35 meters across, which is about 100 feet across, uh, usually the smaller asteroids usually are very easy to, to uh, have this type of an effect because, of course, their surface area is smaller. So they can pose a threat to a town or a city. 100 feet across can pose a threat to a town or a city. So this asteroid SF6, with its 650 meter diameter, could pose a serious threat to a major population, populated area of the Earth. This massive space rock has not yet been ranked on the Torino Impact Hazard Scale. The Torino Scale was adopted by the IAU in 1999 and it's a tool for categorizing the potential Earth impact events. They haven't done that yet for this asteroid. I guess they will, obviously. They have to as soon as possible. This system has an integer scale ranging from 0 to 10 with an associated color coding as well. And the scale captures the likelihood and consequences of a potential impact event on Earth. A 10 on the scale means a collision is certain, capable of causing global climatic catastrophe that may threaten the future of civilization as we know it, whether impacting land or ocean. Well, of course, that, they're not saying it here, but that goes with extinction level events. Such events occurred on average, they do occur on average every sort of uh, 100,000 years or less. A one on the scale means that to a routine discovery in which a pass near the Earth is predicted that poses no unusual level or danger. So for these asteroids, calculations show the chance of collision is unlikely with no cause for public attention or concern. So there's no cause for alarm. New telescopic observations will lead to reassignment of those originally classed as level 1 to eventually become a level 0. The uh, agencies like NASA and the European Space Agencies, as we said, do keep a watchful eye tracking these near-Earth objects passing close to our Earth as far as they can see, because there are those that don't, they, don't never, they never catch. For example, the latest one, the interstellar comet that was caught by Borisov that came in the uh, beginning of August. And that's an interstellar comet. And as we know, the comets are huge. And of course, they confirmed that the amateur astronomer Borisov from Crimea, good for him, he even uh, constructed his own telescope uh, to do that, and that's how he saw it. Uh, an amateur astronomer was the one who discovered the interstellar comet and we will be, from what the astronomers have told us, having a lot more of these interstellar comets coming towards our Earth. And for those of you who have telescopes or want to try and find it, you can find the Borisov interstellar comet between Earth and Mars. So if you try and find Mars in the sky, you'll probably be able to see the interstellar comet, the Borisov interstellar object, and you'll be able to see it until the end of December. And uh, the space agencies are having a fantastic time studying it and recording it. And uh, this is something they, they couldn't do with the first one. They came in in 2017. But it's strange that we're getting these interstellar comets coming in at us. They're too close for comfort. And they're, this is the second one in three years. And from what the astronomers said, we will be having a lot more because there seems to be a body or a planetary system close to our the edge of our solar system that is spewing out these interstellar comets. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.